thank you for joining us today for our Constitution Day questions. What's your name, please? My name is Daniel Sublett. I'm the Veteran Services Academic Advisor. All right, thank you for joining us. I'm going to test your knowledge on the U.S. Constitution. Are you ready? Yes. The longest possible time a person could now serve as president is A, four years, B, eight years, C, 10 years, or D, 12 years? Eight years. It's actually 10. Really? Yeah. I wonder what's... How? <laughs> so you can have those two terms, right? Okay. You can have two terms, but then you can also take on whatever was left of another president's term if they have to leave office. Ah, uh, okay. Our first vice president was A, Alexander Hamilton, B, Thomas Jefferson, C, Benjamin Franklin, or D, John Adams? I think it was Thomas Jefferson. It was John Adams. <laughs> Right. Close enough, close enough. That's okay, though. that's okay. Thank I'm you not for a history major, that's fine. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us today. Could you please introduce yourself to everyone watching? Sure, I'm Dr. Michael Johnson. I'm the new director of Vance here at Lone Star College. Great. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions just to see how much you know about the U.S. Constitution. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, our first one. This one's easy, okay? Okay. The legislative branch of our government is called A, the cabinet, B, Congress, C, the Supreme Court, or D, the FBI? Uh, B, I would say the Congress, right? Congress, correct, correct. All right. Let's see. Laws for the United States are made by A, the President, B, the Senate, C, Congress, or D, the Supreme Court? Um, I'm going to go with Congress again trying to trick you with that one, but yes, it's Congress. <laughs> Today I'm here with Ernesto Valenzuela, the Vice President of Student Success here at Lone Star College Kingwood. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So we're going to ask you a couple of questions just to see how much you know about the U.S. Constitution, all right? Okay. First question. No person's house or property may be searched without what? A. A bill of attainder. B. A government investigation. C. A search warrant. Or D. Evidence of treason. C. A search warrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth Amendment. Okay, our next question. We're going to stick to the Bill of, uh, not the Bill of Rights, well, our <laughs> amendments. The 19th Amendment protects the voting rights of A. New citizens. B. Women. C. Absentee voters. Or D. Foreign born citizens. I would say A. Women. Yes. Oh, wait. New citizens. No, I mean, wait. <laughs> D, women. women. Yes. <laughs> close enough, close enough. All right, I'm here today with Dr. Gonzalez, our wonderful campus president. Thank you for joining I'm us. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. I'm going to quiz you on your knowledge of the U.S. Constitution. Are you ready? Oh. It's been a while since they took history, so let's go. I'm going to you some easy questions, okay, all right? So our first one. The Bill of Rights is, and these are multiple choice, so okay. I'll give you some options. A, the first 10 amendments. B, the 15th amendment. C, the entire Constitution, or D, all of the amendments? The first 10. Correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. Okay, okay. We're going to level up a little bit from there. Our country's first Constitution was called A, the Articles of Confederation, B, the Declaration of Independence, C, the Federalist Papers, or D, the Emancipation Proclamation. The Federalist Papers. No. Oh. <laughs> it was the Articles of Confederation. I knew it. Okay. Oh. Last question. Okay. Ready? Laws for the United States are made by A. The President, B. The Senate, C. Congress, or D. The Supreme Court. Congress. Yes. All right. Two for three. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.